Back to the basics, been a lot of things, but I've never been basic. Run around basic. Hey guys, what's up? You're welcome back to another episode of the Bed with Benhini podcast. My name is Akusia. If you're seeing me for the very first time, today's cocktail is a mixture of vodka and um, I think a strawberry daiquiri. So today's episode was actually inspired by a comment that I saw on Instagram and it's about motherhood. And let me read that comment to you as well as put it on the screen so that we can, you know, talk about it. So this person said, at the age of 29, I decided not to have children. The reactions I get from people range from congrats with a laugh to outright derision. Um, all I know is that I lead a very happy and fulfilled life surrounded by surrounded my loving family i'm sure she wanted to say bye <laughs> surrounded by loving family and friends i made the best decision for me and have no regrets being a loving auntie to my nieces and nephews is a big part of my reg uh, of my great life and i'm so grateful for the support for my online community so this is what the person said right and this is none of my business i mean Whatever you decide to do with your life is really none of my business. But then there were a few comments. I like to read comments. There was one comment. One comment said, selfish is having kids so someone will take care of you when you're older. Plus, the stats show that kids don't necessarily take care of their parents. Talk to someone who works at a senior's home. I have children and I completely support um, childless sisters motherhood is over romanticized and nothing prepares for the sacrifice know yourself ladies let me take that again the last part motherhood is over romanticized and nothing can prepare you for the sacrifice that involves motherhood know yourself literally this is what i'm talking about today when i tell you okay when i tell you guys that motherhood is literally the toughest task that I've had to do in my life. I'm not even going to lie. And I, this comment was so relatable because nothing prepares you. No matter what you've heard in the past, no matter what you've seen, nothing will still prepare you for the actual life that you will go through when you're a mom. Nothing prepares you for the sacrifice. Let me tell you as a young woman, okay? And I feel very passionate about this topic. I have become a mom and motherhood has taught me so many things, okay? Um, this episode is definitely not the type of episode where I'm going to give you five points on how you can do something. No, this is an actual podcast where I'm talking. So get with it, okay? Before becoming a mom, I obviously didn't even see myself as a mom because I just knew that it would take a lot. And I knew that, um, you know, it, I had to give up a lot of myself to be able to be a mom. I didn't even think I could be a mom. I'm not even going to lie. I have done an amazing job at being a mom than I thought that I would be. Now, when I became a mom, I have learned that nothing really prepares you for the job. It's a job that you have to learn on the job. You learn as you go. You pick up your pieces. You throw away the things that you learned that didn't work for you. And then you pick up the new ones that you feel like will work and then you keep going motherhood is so much sacrifice especially as a young girl take it from me motherhood is so much sacrifice especially as a young girl and the crazy part is society has made it look like you can't complain you can't say anything about it like you're ungrateful to complain like you want to complain your mom and you want to complain about the fact that the job is hard Everybody has done it in the past. Your moms did it. Your great grandmothers did it. Why are you complaining? And that's why I have an issue. Why can't I complain? Why can't I say something? When I'm tired, why can't I say it? And that's the issue I have with society when it comes to motherhood. Motherhood is over romanticized. The women right now are running away from motherhood because they have seen it firsthand. They've heard from people motherhood causes depression and that's just the truth if you don't know how to gather yourself if you don't know how to you know if you don't have a support supportive partner i'm telling you flat down you will go crazy and it's just the truth i'm not even gonna lie because personally for me i've looked at how much i've had to sacrifice and i keep asking myself well this is not what somebody will tell you this is not what all our moms will tell us 
which is so beautiful. That's the beautiful part about the job that our moms did because they don't rub it in your faces. But then that's my issue. We still have to be able to talk about it. You know, I don't care what the generation in the past did. I care what we are doing. <laughs> and my own is, I will let people know the truth so that they can make their decisions. Because for me, I decided to be a mom. I decided that I wanted to do this. I decided that I wanted to have this baby. And that was my first baby. I love her to death. I love both of my kids to death. And that's what I'm saying. Motherhood is a decision that you have to make. And you have to know yourself to make that decision. And that's one thing that I am still learning. I'm not even going to lie. That's one thing that I'm still learning. Learning that you have to be able to make the sacrifice for the kids. And it's, it's okay. It's normal. Like sometimes it feels like you're giving away so much of yourself for the work. Motherhood is a job. Every woman that is a mom will tell you that it's a full-time job. You never get a break. Especially if you have little ones, if you have toddlers, you never get a break. So it's something that you have to mentally prepare yourself for, physically prepare yourself for. Financially, it's obviously besides the point because having kids, you obviously need to be financially prepared. But the thing is, you don't want anybody to push you into motherhood. You don't want anybody to make it look so attractive for you to go into it if you're not ready. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's what a comment was saying. It's over romanticized. If you're not the type of person that is ready to sacrifice your time, your emotions, your energy, all of that for someone else and take it from me. It, it looks so easy because, you know, they're your kids. But then as a millennial like me, 28, I still have a lot of goals on my list that I have to check off. Sometimes motherhood will come in the way of these goals. You have to put some of your goals on hold. I am even, I'm not even joking. And it's happened to me so many times. I have so many goals that are still on hold because I have little girls. I have little girls. And it, everybody's situation is different. Obviously, everybody's household is different. Everybody's story is different. So everybody's dynamic, let me say that, is different. So this is my dynamic. This is not based on somebody's motherhood style. This is based on my motherhood style. Let me put that out there even before anybody says anything, okay? This is based on my life, my circumstances, you know, my kids and everything. So people are different. I know working moms who have nannies who can go about their lives and still, you know, do what they have to do. There's that. And then there is someone who has to actually be a mom, be a nine to fiver, chase their goal. There's also that. So that's what I'm talking about. Motherhood requires a lot of sacrifice. If you want to be the mom that's involved in your kids' lives, if you want to be there every milestone, then be ready to want to give up some goals or be ready to do some overnight tests for your goals because you need to know that motherhood is nothing but sacrifice, is nothing but full-time worrying about little human beings. <laughs> it's crazy. But then it's also a very beautiful journey, you know, I'm always going to say that I'm going to tell people the truth, but then also tell people that it's a beautiful journey. Motherhood has taught me patience. I was never a patient person before I became a mom. What? But you have no option than to be patient because one thing with kids is they're new. They're fresh to the world. They're just learning things. You can't be so hard on them. You have to know a way. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's motherhood style or parenting style is different. But generally, motherhood takes sacrifice. Motherhood takes a lot out of you, especially as a young person. And I say especially as a young person because I feel like for me personally, for me right now, I'm, I'm at the stage where I am literally like a tiger, <laughs> like a lion, like I'm chasing my goal. And that's it. I'm crazy. I'm not, I'm like, I'm the type of person, like when I set my eyes on something, I'm going to go, 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 go. And that's it. I'm, I'm at that stage in my life right now. And I've come to realize that it takes a lot of sacrifice because to be able to do both and do them flawlessly you, it will drive you insane. It will drive you insane. But then also, it's such a, like I said, it's such a beautiful journey to, to be able to look at the kids, look at them smile. They give you the inspiration to keep going. That's one thing that I've realized. Kids, for whatever reason, give you so much inspiration to keep pushing. You just want this better life for them. And because of that, you will keep doing more. You will keep pushing. So 
amidst everything motherhood is a beautiful thing motherhood would teach you a lot of beautiful things it will teach you bonding you know like it will teach you so many things but it's definitely one thing that's over romanticized by society it coming from an african girl if you decide to not want to have kids in africa it's like a taboo <laughs> it's like a taboo and that's one thing i also want to talk about it's okay if you don't want to have kids it is a hundred percent okay because you know what not everybody is cut out to be a mom flat out i'm not even going to lie not every woman is cut out to be a mom who am i to say that i'm a mom <laughs> i'm a mom i have been on the job still on the job and i know for a fact that it takes a lot of mental strength to want to do the job it takes a lot of mental strength to not go crazy at the job and that's if if people are going to be honest if people are going to be real that's just what it is it takes a lot to not go crazy it takes a lot to and not go crazy like you're literally going to go nuts go crazy with your um like you know make it outside and whatnot that's not what i mean but it takes a lot to not say you know what i'm just gonna be a mom and fuck it i'm sorry but yes literally you can literally decide you know what i'm just gonna live life be a mom and not follow my passion not take care of myself i'm just gonna take care of the kids and that's where the problem is that's where you've lost yourself in the job <laughs> and i don't want to do that that's what i don't want anybody to do because it's not a job that sh you should get lost in. It's a beautiful job. You can very easily be so consumed. And motherhood is literally a job, so I'm going to call it that. But it's something that, you know, you don't want to be fully consumed in. You want to be able to chase yourself, work on yourself. That way you're pouring into the kids in, in that direction, you know. So it's in Africa, it's just crazy because if someone decides that they don't want to have kids, they're looked at in a certain way society is viewing them as well why don't you want to have kids society thinks a woman's body is literally meant to like baby making machine which is not what it's supposed to be that's what i'm trying to say you you should be prepared to want to do the job you should you shouldn't let anybody push you if you're not ready to do the job please no don't be your mom and i'm gonna tell you as a mom i'm gonna tell you because it takes a lot of sacrifice it takes a lot of um you know setting crazy routines for yourself just so you can see some productivity out of yourself as a person you know even before you see anything in your mom life so so again today's today's episode i wasn't really going to like give you pointers or anything but it's just how i feel like society makes motherhood look like well if you're a woman and you choose not to have kids you have an issue no you don't it's just your decision and as much as you know like uh, because like p women in the past have been viewed as like you know mothers and it's beautiful and trust me i love the whole idea of every woman having kids but we don't want you we, we <sighs> we want to have healthy moms let me just say that we want to have people who are ready to be healthy moms we want to have people who are ready to go through the stress and grow through it so you should be ready to make that sacrifice you should be ready to know that it will take a toll on you and you have to be able to pick yourself back up when it does you should know that it will take a toll on your marriage sometimes and that's just the reality of things that is just the reality of things me i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't lie about anything but it will depend on you and your your partner how you guys get through it how you communicate the parenting style that you choose to go with it has to be able to work for both of you so that you're both you know um in sync with what is going on because again parenting generally can take a toll on the marriage especially as a young couple it can and i'm very grateful for communication i push communication every time that's definitely what you want to do find a way to communicate find the good timing i would say that every time timing when it comes to communication is key you always want to find the best timing to bring certain type of um, conversations and topics up so consider that um but just know that parenting is tough being a mom is tough as a millennial it takes a lot of sacrifice it takes a lot of mind work it's literally mind tasking you have a lot to think about you have a lot to do you have a lot to 
um, sacrifice and all of that. So motherhood is a tough job, but it's also so beautiful. It's a job that gives you so much fulfillment, literally. Like you're literally raising a human being. Like that's how I see it. I'm like, oh, it's so cute. I'm raising a whole human being. And it, the, the love and the protection, the natural instincts, they're all very natural. It's not even forced. Like when once you have kids, the automatic worry is there, <laughs> you know, the automatic love is there, you know, like it, it's not even forced. So it comes with all the beautiful things, but it also comes with you, you the needing to know that it's a job that requires you being ready to do the job is basically what um, I'm trying to say. So shout out to every mom out there. First of all, you're doing an amazing job. Okay. Let me just say that if you're a young mom doing this out here by yourself, hats off to you you're doing amazing you and your partner you guys are doing amazing if you're single you're doing okay if you're single let me just double extra kisses for you because this job is tough so give yourself a pat on the back pour yourself a glass of drink wine whatever you like cocktail whatever you like okay when you do have some time away from the kids do that spend some time with yourself Reflect on your parenting style. Ask yourself questions, you know, how you want to move forward with what you're doing because it is a job that you're going to be doing for a lifetime. And um, talk to people who you feel like you can open up to when it comes to things of parenting because I found that it's also not really everybody that you can talk to about parenting because what you're doing in your family might not work for me. No, I don't like that. I mean, I don't do that. No. <laughs> I mean, I I will just generally talk to you about something, but I would never ask your input on how I should go with, no. It's something that I barely do. I would never do it. Because, like, how do I know what you're telling me is going to work? <laughs> you know, like, you're doing it for your family. Yes, it's working. I would hear it. But, again, I can't say for a fact that that's what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, parenting is very tricky you want to be careful who you're sharing ideas with or taking ideas from and inculcating them into your kid's life obviously um we also definitely want to be able to open up when you feel full and you you know you want to pour your cup out definitely do that um, but take it easy on yourself you're doing an amazing job it's already a whole job by itself so you're doing amazing let me just say that and um yeah if you're getting ready to be a mom or if you do want to become a mom i love you so i'm gonna be honest with you it's a beautiful job it's a rewarding job but it's also very mind tasking it takes a lot of sacrifice talk to your mom about it i'm sure they might not fully open up to you about it but if they do bless their hearts because it is a job that requires that you do sacrifice for so Again, this is a very random episode, but it's been on my heart all week, so I had to let it out. Um, motherhood requires sacrifice. It has taught me that. It's taught me to be patient in life and with everything that I'm doing, <laughs> which is not the wave that we're in right now. People are very patient, okay? So I just needed to record this episode. Um, comment down below if you have any questions, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Mm -hmm.